laughing evilly once I rip these straps into smaller straps. Those straps are made of unbreakable strap you. But those are unbreakable. Yeah, exactly. But I'm sure your fairies could break them. Go. Oh, no. We got to tell Vicky. You mean Viv? Yeah, sure, that one. <laughs> Two suitors left. One single ornate feather. One of you is a handsome prince who has obvious chemistry with Lady Vivian. The other, a rich boy who I'm now certain is evil. Ooh. Me? Yep. If I may, I have a clear choice of who I want to gently kiss my cheek. We are the parents. In this era, we alone decide. Would you like to marry, sweetie? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll be right back. My wife and I have discussed it, and the single ornate feather goes to... Prince Dumont. Drat! I had so many evil plans, most involving flan. Out you go, out you go. Never sat on a couch, you know. Never sat on a common couch? You can't be serious! Well, Lady Vivian, the time has come to place the single ornate feather in Dumont's hat. We'll give you some privacy. Well, I suppose the only thing left to do is gently kiss you upon the cheek. <sighs> uh, yes! That is exactly what we're gonna do. I just need to powder my cheek. Don't move a muscle. Keep puckering. As you wish, but I shan't stay puckered forever. We know, but Vicky captured Roy to capture us. Fine, I'll call them. Where's my phone? In the 21st century, dear. You can write him a letter and maybe he'll get it in a month or two, unless the mail carrier gets lost or gets a paper cut and dies. Fine, I'll go to the quad. Sweetie, I'm afraid in the action high version of Dimsdale, you can only be in your mission control seat. With no dates or friends. That's it. Sorry, Roy, I'm staying here. No! You're his only hope. We can't interfere or Vicky will catch us. And I assume Batman is busy. Or if he's not, he's just straight up ghosting me. Fine, I'll abandon all hopes of ever getting cheek kissed. I mean, how bad could things with Roy really be? You can't hurt me with your stanky flan. Nothing can hurt Rage and Roy. How about this laser? <laughs> Now then, if I may bring your attention to this incredibly long spool of fuse, I'm going to unravel it off screen. And then I'll light it. If your little fairies don't show up by the time this fuse hits that rocket, <laughs> you can say Dolphidania to planet Earth! <laughs> I just have one question. Did you make the fuse incredibly long so you could go far off screen? Shut up! Well, old Roy, looks like you got yourself attached to a real rocket. Major Roy, do you read me? I'm here to save you. Really? Oh, that's cool of you. It is pretty cool considering I was just about to get cheek kissed by my crush. Now tell me what you see so I can get you out of there. I see tree, bench, table, tree again. Another bench. No, that's the same bench. Dino, will you stop singing? I'm trying to tell Viv what I see. That's it. Xena's the side character. In every episode of Action High, there's a side character who can secretly kick butt. It's super predictable, but it might be our only way out. Hey, Janitor Xena, can you kick butt? I don't know, but I'll kick anything you want. Just tell me you love me. I... I wasn't farting! Well, if that isn't the unsuspecting janitor, I suggest you continue mopping that tree. I've got a boy with fairies to launch into space. Raging Roy was about to tell me he loved me! Mission control. What, Roy? Raging Roy, 
I don't usually do saris. It's one of his best qualities. <laughs> I'm sorry. Should have let you have a moment. Thanks, Roy. And I admit you were right. You should not change the world for a guy to like. Yeah. Especially because in regular Dimsdale, way too smart and special for Demond. Oh! Well, I love I got the Lefuse. Is she okay? Huh? Yeah, she's alive. You wanna put that fuse out? And then plug your ears? Ew, you're weird. I like that. I wish everything was back to normal. Yeah, normal or no one's kissing my cheek. Also, I'm kind of hangry. I wish for a sandwich. <laughs>